Tampa on Thursday Night Lights. Las Vegas Honda Dealers Thursday Night Lights presented by Terribles. We are out here at Simra Memorial High School. They're hosting Spring Valley, the Grizzlies tonight. And there's nothing like playoff football. The temperature is playoff time. It's beautiful. There's no wind, but the temperature's dropped about 10 degrees. You take a bad angle versus Michael, he will outrun it. You can see here, good job of, of coming up. Senior, he's got three wide receivers to the right. He rolls right, pressured by Spring Valley, and he is sacked back at the 42. Oh, he can't pull up in this situation. It's either gain that edge or throw the football away because uh, there's no one protecting his back. You know, Civil Room Mori will say it's our defensive pressure decision by him. Uh, some, uh, you know, and I just love Tip, man. Have you ever tried to hammer a nail into a piece of wood? It doesn't always go all the way in the wood. You can use that game film and then continue to watch and see what adjustments will be made by both sides. And here's Sabina, the senior quarterback, with the fake handoff to the inside. Runs to the right, gets to the outside, and he's out of bounds. The quarterback is reading 55. 55 comes, he gets inside of him. You know, that's going to present an issue because those ends want to pursue him. I would always tell him, the fewer design QB runs you call, the better. I'm much more dangerous and difficult for the defense. Going lost third down situation. Sabina back. The screen is set up. It's almost intercepted. And then caught by Simran and thrown down close to the first down marker. Now here's what's interesting. That was almost disaster. Sabina with two backs, one to the right, one to the left, takes the shotgun snap. He'll take it straight ahead, and he gets to the marker, shoulder into that run. First and ten, Sabina drops back, a wide receiver screen out to Narcy Feltis, and Feltis is taken down right away. Some air under it. You know, uh, I'll say this, Ayuba, he's just got to run through that ball. You see how he start looking back about 50. It's tough to run when, you know, you're looking up in the sky. You run much faster when you're looking straight ahead, that's for sure. Yeah, I found it out a slow, yeah. guy, slow guy like me. I had to know all <laughs> the tricks. Operating at the Spring Valley 42. Sabina takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, rolls right. He's going to run now, and he's and he's got a first down. Sabina out of bounds around the 29. The design QB runs that they've attempted. His best run of the night, and you're right. Uh, defenders, when they've got to worry more about wide receiver. receiver from a touchdown standpoint. Andrew Overland has six receiving touchdowns on the year. Oh, and we got a fake here, Kenny. Feltis with the keeper, and he's not going to get it, John. This is going to be a failed fourth down fake. My name is Kelsey Howard. I go to Spring Valley High School. I'm Zaire Mobley from Cyan High School. My name is Michael Sabino from Cimarron Memorial High School. You're watching Thursday Night Lights on my LVTV. Hey, and we're back. And there you go. That's a, a Halloween a uh, moon, Sean. Yeah, Kelsey Howard here from Spring Valley getting some love. I see you. Yeah, Michael Sabina. Yeah. The do it all, Michael Sabina. And the Spring Valley Grizzlies take back over the first play, a handoff to Manu, and Cimarron is all over that play. Defense. Snap, a quick pass, a screen out to the right. It's going to be good yardage for Spring Valley and me. Stuff in the box. They, they, want to prove, they want Tyson to prove he can accurately deliver this ball tonight. Yeah, great. Robert cut. Guys can get the ball in the end zone on the edges. Handoff up the middle to Mino, and he's got a big game. Broke a tackle and into Sean. Coach Steele told us before the game, if Manu wouldn't seek out the contact, Cimarron, this is the first time they're in their territory. A wide receiver runs sweep pass arrow jackson takes the snap rolls left he is pressured fumbles and recovers the ball was stripped away but he got it back that's not ideal you know i wonder if they're thinking two plays here i, I wouldn't hesitate to give tip manu a carry thinking that if we can gain you know arrow jackson out of the shotgun running back right running back left and it's running back to the left he gives the ball and that's tip manu fell into that timeout If you're an artist, you could win a car from United Nissan. Score big at UniteNevada2022.com. I don't want to jinx them, but you know, Tyshawn Arrow Jackson takes a look at the defense. Takes the snap, rolls right, looks left, throws sidearm over the middle, and it's complete. That is a... Well, we'll find out. Like the sidearm pass, Patrick Mahomes style. Yeah, great catch. Decided to go for it. Fourth and nine. 
His quarterback, Arrow Jackson, looks deep into the end zone. Touchdown! That is Alex Livingston with a beautiful throw from Arrow Jackson. What a dime by Five Pound Junior for his sixth touchdown reception on the year. You see how far inside that ball is? Wow. But I love it because of the... And here we go. That is a and big a offensive play. View. Team down the field. A line drive kickoff here by Diamond. Picked up at the 15-yard line. Out to the 30, 35, the 40. To midfield. There's a lot of room to run. And blockers in front. Down the sideline. That is Nasseri Feltis. Just were not able to cash in with points. Had a couple penalties. Back to pass is the senior, Sabina. He escapes pressure, runs, rolls right, and he's got positive yardage. He's past the 20, and he's going to get down inside the 5 to the 1. A big run, almost a touchdown. Boy, a great run by Sabina. Will be great nullified. individual effort, too, Kenny. Sure was. Right here, I got to teach Sabina. He actually falls down. You see, Overland's just getting back up, and he's going to try and throw it late, but... He was going there initially, but unfortunately for him, especially on fourth down. Seven, eight games have been played by each team. Here's handoff to Manu and Cimarron ready for this play and a big stop. The yeah, snap was a little bit low and to the left. A loss of one. Three Cimarron players there for the 26. Tyshan Arrow Jackson takes the snap, looks right, throws, intercepted. A interception. Number two, Gurrell Patterson takes it down inside the 25 and something different. But Jarrell Patterson capitalized on it, and he did what a lot of his teammates haven't done. He bobbled it, but he secured the catch. And here, good job of blocking. Momentum changing. Play. And it's the Cimarron Spartans trailing at home here. Six to nothing, but they just picked up a big turnover interception. But Jarrell Patterson takes the ball inside the 25-yard line, and that's where Cimarron will start. The NIAA would like to thank Lerner and Rowe for their continued support of the NIAA. Well, Sean, this is Michael Sabina time, and Cimarron, they, they need to put some points on the board. Yeah, he's looking to account for touchdown 27, 26 touchdowns by Mr. Sabina coming into this game. Spartans winners of four of their last five games. They come in playing their best football of the season, and the fake handoff is just taken down. Tremendous play by Kelsey Howard. Kelsey Howard, wow. And see, that's what happened when you get on the commercial for Thursday Night Lights. Kelsey yes. Howard's on the commercial. You make big-time plays. But he was fired up. He came off that edge. 6'5", 255. Catch. End again in the end zone. Third and 13. Sabino drops back. He is pressured. He's going to be sacked back at the 40-yard line by the Spring Valley defense. Kelsey Howard finished it. But Ethan Schufert. I mean, for Sabina out of the pocket. I mean, they're doing a good job. And these known passing downs, they have not been able to block this Spring Valley, Spring Valley front four. A lot of pressure on Sabina after great field position. They're going to have to turn this back to about the 25. 26. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath center. Take the snap. Quarterback sneak in. Push forward. Looks like a handoff to Titmanu and Simran up to the task. First and ten. Handoff. This is Titmanu. Manu from the 49. Arrow Jackson, the handoff. Back to Manu. The five-yard line down to the two is called back on a holding penalty, which was very costly. Here's Arrow Jackson with the pass. Oh, in. But obviously, he's way more comfortable at corner because, I mean, this was a touchdown. Great throw. Ethan Schufert had ran yep. under the ball, but at the last second, he gets him a pass. Here we go. <laughs> Fourth and four. Jackson takes the snap. A quick pass, and it's intercepted. Taken back. This could go the distance. To the 20, the 15, down to the 10, and pushed out of bounds by the quarterback, Arrow Jackson. That was of Arrow Jackson right here. Secures the catch. Now let's ride. Boy, Arrow Jackson threw that into a lot of maroon shirts, um, Sean. There was a, five marooned defenders around this red zone. One back behind the quarterback, Sabina, who fakes the handoff, keeps it in once again. Takes the high snap, rolls right. Looking in the end zone, throwing in the end zone, incomplete. Because it's such a condensed space. You know, it's a lot of Spring Valley defenders that you're trying to fit these throws through. 
They've bent a little, but they definitely haven't broken. They have responded both of these drives. This could be the going timeout. You have to keep the football on the ground here. You just want to get into the halftime. You're up 6 nothing. This is a big gainer, though. Out past the 30 to the 40 and down at the 44-yard line. Not just, you know, to take some shots. I think Coach Caney thought if anything can go wrong in this first half, it will go wrong. Let's just let the clock run out, get the halftime regroup, and then Manu breaks off a big run out to the 43. Ring Valley Grizzlies lead the Simran Memorial Spartans 6 to nothing here at the half. It's a low-scoring game, Sean, but we've had a lot of action. Yeah, we've had a lot of offense, and Michael Sabina's been a big reason why they've been so effective on offense, Simran Maroon Memorial. The problem is, can it happen again in the end zone? You know, Spring Valley's had their moments, have done some good things. Well, here's the one thing that's counted for points. Tyson, Aero Jackson, great ball to Alec Livingston. That's the only points of the first half. And the Cimarron defense has actually been, you know, very good. They've got two really good turnovers. One interception by Jarrell Patterson and another one we're going to see here in a second from Eugene Davis. Ball is moved. Haven't been able to convert a lot of these drives into touchdowns. So I bet... The halftime conversations were very similar between both teams, Kenny. We've got to figure out how to convert some of these drives and turn them into points. No doubt about it. We're going to take a real quick break. When we get back, Alex will talk to the head coach, Sean Kenny.